<laughs> this is our toilet, everyone. <gasps> so, sorry. Croissant. That might have been a vagina. Sorry about that. Why would you call it skinny? That could be an advert. So I'm just sat here editing the vlog and I've realised I didn't intro it at all, I just start talking about my bathroom. So I will intro it now and explain the beginning of it because it makes no sense. So this is obviously the bathroom before the plumbers arrived to rip it out and then yeah it goes straight into the rest of the vlog and the bathroom pro progress. Spoiler, it's hardly any progress. Um, that is in next week's vlog. We've had a kind of small miniature nightmare with the plumbers, but we're getting there. We are getting there and it's getting sorted. So yeah, I just wanted to give some context to the start of the vlog, which I've now done. Enjoy the rest. And just like that, guys, the whole bathroom is completely gone. Are you zoomed in? Oh, sorry, you're a bit zoomed in. Look, completely empty. That took them, honestly, about an hour and a half, two hours max. The doors come off the frame. I think they had to take it off to get the bath out the door. But yeah, day one progress is not bad. And then they're gonna be back in tomorrow to start, oh, I think tomorrow, it might be the day after, to start um, tanking the floor. So I don't know if I mentioned that this is gonna be a wet room. Um, actually, I'll go through with you the like what the actual plans are, but it's gonna be a wet room. So they have to like waterproof the whole room from like, about that height down because we're not going to have a shower tray it's going to be let me like insert a picture of a wet room so the tiles will just cover the whole floor it will go into hopefully like a seamless sort of drain that will also be tiled so almost like an invisible drainage system but yeah you have to waterproof the whole room and that's quite a lot of work but I'm so excited after day one, this is so cool. The skip didn't arrive on time, so when they were ripping out the bathroom, they've just had to put all the bathroom on our driveway, which isn't even our driveway, it's our downstairs neighbour's driveway. She's so lovely and honest, like she doesn't mind at all, but look at our bathroom just on our driveway for everyone to see. Stunning, this is our toilet everyone. <laughs> but yeah, things are happening, it's really exciting. This is honestly so cool. It's about to be really nice and it's about to, like this room is about to really feel like ours. I was saying this the other day, every time I clean anything, like bathroom, the kitchen, this is gonna sound so stupid, but I feel like I'm cleaning someone else's property. Cause we've not been there that long and it doesn't feel like ours yet. I feel like I'm cleaning the previous, the previous owner, the previous owner's kitchen for her, which doesn't make any sense. So I'm just really excited to get this started. I think with my last flat, because I did so much work and I didn't even live in it before the work because it was such a state, it wasn't really like safe to live in before I renovated it. It felt like mine from the get go because I chose everything, I designed everything and like I watched it all be renovated and like organized all that. Whereas this obviously we've lived in it for a while. Anyway, rambling, I'm rambling away. Um, I am actually shooting some content this morning for Gymshark and I thought those guys would be here all day but they're not which means I can go out we're actually going to go to Topps Tiles and have a look at some tiles um, because we'll need to place an order with them pretty soon but yeah in the meantime I'm going to shoot some Gymshark content oh this is my little Gymshark outfit actually I'll just show you in the mirror all right excuse the mess we've been moving things around for the bathroom so my bathroom's an absolute state, but but this is the outfit. It's really cute. I think this collection's called Mercury. I'll leave it in the description, obviously. This is the pink one. They have, definitely have a blue version too, and in black. They're just like the usual Gymshark, like really, really good quality shorts. Well, good quality everything, but this sort of like swirly-whirly ice cream design. <laughs> cute anyway i've got a really weird idea for a photo which is me hanging out of the window kind of mary poppins rooftop vibes i don't know how or why i had this idea but this is the sort of shot we're going for a bit random but i'm gonna see if it works <laughs> F 
focus. Oh right, I've got the shop for Gymshark. I'm gonna insert it here because I think it's gonna be really cute. They're gonna edit it for me. So if it looks cool and funky and covered in edits, their editing team did that. We are now gonna go to the post office, get some lunch, and then we're gonna go to Tops Tiles to definitely decide the tiles that I want. So I will show you all that. Ahem. What? What tiles we want. What tiles we want. <laughs> so a couple times and I was like Tiles, 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 tiles Oh, it's this, isn't it? So This is the one that I want It's like not polished That's the polished marble This is a not polished And I personally prefer that one B is not so sure And then do we get a trim? Because it's going to go halfway up the, the um, bathroom So not a trim that fancy But the question is do we get a trim? Like more subtle? Or is it fine like that? Let me show you the size I was thinking of. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Where did he show us again? Uh, right now. That one? Yeah. This. Oh yeah. So this is our, that's that piece of stone in the size I would want it. Floors and walls. I think that's lovely. And we just need to figure out how much that's gonna be. That is the two sizes next to each other. I personally what? just really like the big one. Just got back from M&S. Felt like doing an M&S haul. Why not? So for lunch, I got a salmon sandwich and some, oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> some crunchy green apple peanut butter dip and a man pineapple mango co coconut water juice this is the literally a haul that no one asked for but here we are B got peanut bang bang chicken wrap can I have it? and my juice our juice and, and my snack a selection of cronuts have you had these before? no I've never tried them they are these Half donut, half croissant. Some other items also include a pineapple, some crisps, and I got lots of snacks for our builders because I felt so bad this morning because I went to offer them a cup of tea and then I realised I didn't even have tea because we only drink decaf tea or green tea or like not builder tea. So I got them good biscuits, some proper tea, and some broccoli and a garlic bread. I'm gonna have my lunch now. Maybe watch a bit of The Office while I do that. And then edit that photo that you're, you would have seen earlier, but I need to edit that Gymshark photo and send it back to them for approval. Anyway, I'll let you know how these cronuts are. They're yum nuts, not cronuts, I got that wrong. I'm gonna go for that one that's like caramelly. That looks like raspberry, That look, those look plain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go cookie. top right. I'm hoping that's some form of cookie dough <gasps> bit that on looks top. Like a, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, look, one fell off. Okay, you can put one. That's, yeah, it's cookie. I'm gonna eat that with it. <gasps> the cookie's very good. Mm -hmm. Let me try a bite of that. That is M&S bakery cookie on the top that they've cut a little circle out of. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Nice shot. Oh, oh my god, look at that. That could be an advert. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it's a mix between a yum yum and a donut, not a croissant and a donut. That was like so too You didn't get it from the name? I read the name wrong. Oh. <laughs> it's a round yum yum. Okay. 10 out of 10. If you're in the M&S and you want a yum nut, mm -hmm. recommend. This is why they shouldn't put stuff near the till. Wow, yeah. What did we go for? Till purchase. That was. I got broccoli, sandwiches, and then yum nuts. Literally, we've got lunch and dinner, and then shiny, big, mm. bright Deliciousness. boxes. Deliciousness. I just finished lunch, and B has gone out to play basketball. And I'm just sitting on my landing because a whole bunch of parcels arrived all at once, and... I wanted to show you a couple bits because they're so cool. I did an order at um, Never Fully Dressed, that's what they're called. 
and I see their ads, their Facebook ads, all the time. And every time I'm like, oh, ads are so annoying. But also, those dresses look really, really nice. And I have a wedding coming up in October and I've been struggling so, not October, August. Um, I've been struggling so much to find an outfit or even seeing things that I like, like I just haven't been. So I ordered two outfits from there, which I will try on for you. They look beautiful and I've never ordered from there before, but their ads are so nice and their clothes just look so lovely. I thought I may as well just order a couple of outfits just to try because I really hope one of their... I really hope one of them is going to be lovely. Let me show you this really quickly. Just like the print. Oh my goodness. The print and that fabric. I mean, it's not double lined. And it is like a tie around skirt. So that might be a bit. Mm, if you can see the inside lining. Yeah, literally it's not double lined at all. Okay, anyway, I'll try these on before I judge them. But the fabric feels and looks incredible. Also, I just got a glossy box and this isn't sponsored, but sometimes they are just so good. And this is the thing, because it's a subscription, realistically, I work with them, but I feel like they won't mind me saying this. Maybe they will. I don't know. Sometimes you get a glossy box that you don't like that much. Like normally you're gonna find something you like because there's always at least six or seven things and it's always worth at least like I think 50 quid. So I've never had one that I actually don't like but you're always gonna get some that are a little bit crap and some that you love all the products. And then sometimes they just surprise you with like the best stuff. Like their Easter one, I showed you their Easter one, didn't I? Oh my God, that was the best surprise parcel Ever. I was subscribed to Glossy Box like long before I started working with them but I just wanted to like go through this with you because it's just arrived and I've not been through it yet and it's like a little holiday essentials travel kit and there is some NARS makeup so I just thought it'd be fun to go through it together. I am pretty sure I still have a discount code with Glossy Box um, so I will leave it on screen if I do and I'll leave the link where you can use the code if you fancy trying it. Like I said I'm pretty sure it still works. Anyway, let me, let's see what's in this box. So this is obviously like a little travel case and I it's a really decent quality one. Like it feels lovely and sturdy and just nice. Oh, nice zip, that's a good sign. So what do we have? Right, you always get one of these with them, which basically tells you what the box is and like what it's about and what's in it. But I don't like to look at it. I like to like surprise myself and go through each item. So we have some SPF 30, always very important and handy to have a little one. What is that? Instant shine mask. Mask for what? Oh, it's hair. It's a hair mask. Instant seal hair mask. I guess it might be like a hair oil. Mm, not sure. Waterproof mascara. Always important for holiday too. What are you? What are you? Why are you focusing on my dusty old carpet and not what I want you to? I'm going to have to check. Uh, there. Yeah, it's a tiny little under eye setting powder. Again, so, so handy for holiday. You can just keep that in your bag. Um, some body lotion. Mango iced tea. Okay, I'm going to have to smell it. Oh, that smells like a mango smoothie. I know, obviously know it was gonna smell of mango, but that just smells like a really, really lovely fresh mango. Oh, that's so nice. Right, let's keep going. Um, we have Sea Pearl Halo Dew Drops. Oh, it's like a moisturizer. Okay, cute, again, holiday. Then we have a NARS blush. Oh my God. I love getting little NARS items in glossy boxes because it means you can try them and NARS is so expensive. Well, it's not so, well, yeah, it is expensive. How cute is that? <gasps> oh my God. That is the summeriest, shimmeriest, coralliest blush color. Oh my God, I love that. What's that called? I'm not even gonna try and say that, but that is what the name is. Tiny uh, Intensive Serum Multi Corrector Supreme. I mean, I really don't know what that is. Skinny Tan Face Tanning Drops. I've never tried Skinny Tan. Uh, I think you can probably guess why. Why would you call it Skinny? Like, what is the need to name a tanning product Skinny? There is no need. <laughs> Pump and Glow Serum. 
and then we have a project lip mask i get why these would be really good on holiday because if you're spending all day in the sun and obviously your lips are in the sun that would be really lovely and hydrating for them and the last item is advanced tinted tanning elixir the ultimate hydrating medium self tan fair enough and then look that's so much stuff for one month's worth of subscription and you get the little bag oh i just really do enjoy my little monthly glossy boxes i just think they're such a good idea sorry if you can hear my washing machine going that whole time by the way that was probably really annoying Ugh. right i'm gonna try these on for you because they look so so fun right i'm gonna put on screen here what item this is and i'll see you in two seconds me wearing it right what do we think i'm a bit unsure you know I don't, I don't know, maybe because it's just not very me. Love it, but I don't like how you can see that this is online. So obviously there's a slit here and you're going to be walking and moving. And you'll see that. Right, the light might be really rubbish. Let me try and find a spot that you can actually see this properly. There, that's better, isn't it? Okay, yeah, you can definitely see it there. I don't know why, I'm just not loving it it doesn't feel very wedding-y to me either i think it is very wedding-y but i think i don't feel wedding-y and that lining would definitely annoy me being able to see that i'm gonna put the pictures in again of the website images but i have a feeling they've photographed it in a way that you can't tell that it's not double lined do you know what it's beautiful like the print is so beautiful it's actually so special like that gold and like the big like tie and like that might have been a vagina sorry about that do you know what i think it's really really nice it's just not my style which is why i feel a bit funny in it i'm gonna try the other one on now right again i'm gonna put a picture here of what that is and what it looks like on the website and then me wearing it i just feel a bit silly <laughs> it's actually really beautiful and the fabric is lovely. I think I was just having a confident moment of ordering things online. But I just, I just don't. <laughs> I was trying to imagine it with like nice, long, smart hair that I would have, that I would be wearing to a wedding. <sighs> this just isn't it, is it? Can you see the bottom properly? Why isn't this working? <laughs> Okay, they're really nice, like they're actually really, really beautiful items and all oh, that doesn't look good. But, uh, but they're just, they're just not for me, you know? Okay, slightly unsuccessful wedding guest dress shopping, but we will keep searching, we will find something. I think I really struggle to feel formal enough and it's a church wedding. So like, you do want to feel relatively like put together. I'm going to take this off and put it back in its bag and put the return label on it. But if you guys have had any luck finding wedding dress, like, just like places to shop, like even ASOS, I'm just finding I'm not finding anything that I like. So if you guys know of any, like, little hidden gems of places that do good outfits to be a wedding guest this summer, please do let me know. I would be so grateful. Um, anyway, I'm going to get changed. I'll catch you a little bit later. Good morning guys, good morning, good morning. It is day three of the bathroom and basically not much has changed since day one. So, the builders aren't in today yet, they should be in any minute but I thought I'd just film this quickly. I think they basically have just got it ready to go. These are, I think the waterproof tiling thingy majiggies but today they are tanking the whole room which means, yeah, I only learned what tanking means the other day, but it's when they waterproof, like, all the walls, all the floor, and, like, the whole room. Basically, it's what they do to a swimming pool. Because this is going to be a wet room, there is going to be a lot of water on the floor, obviously. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're just making sure it's completely waterproof, and then once that's done, they start putting in, like, the shower and the tiles and the toilet and all that kind of stuff. I went for a facial yesterday at the place that I always go to. I've been going for like ages and ages now. Um, it's called the Sloan Clinics in Brighton. I'll leave the details down below, just in case you care. Um, and I had my microneedling 
and my skin feels so good today. I don't know if you can tell on this camera, but like, I feel very fresh. I feel quite like tight too, which I personally really enjoy feeling quite like, <laughs> And I do have a very big spot here, which is actually quite sore because it's on my jaw. I can feel it when I'm talking. The girl who does it, she's called Danielle. She's just so lovely. She runs over your face with a micro needling pen. So it's basically like lots and lots of tiny needles going over your face. And apparently what it does is it causes a healing reaction. It just feels like my skin is now like so plump and so juicy and so like mm. anyway the thing i actually wanted to tell you about this morning wow oh my god i went to the gym yesterday and my ass hurts so much today yeah the thing i actually wanted to tell you about today was a very exciting thing is happening this afternoon and i only know about it yesterday so it's all very last minute as usual so you might remember the uh the panic attack incident the other week last month it's a while ago now um and that was on the way to the photo shoot with linda or what was meant to be the photo shoot with linda um we've rebooked it we're gonna do it today instead b is gonna drive i haven't driven on the fast road since that's happened i don't really know like when i will anyway that's beside the point that's happening today so we're gonna drive up to Essex. We're driving to a forest, I think, um, later on this afternoon to do the original photo shoot that we had planned. So there's gonna be smoke bombs. Apparently, I think there's gonna be a wig involved this time. So I've never worn a wig. I will let you know how that one looks. That's happening today. So I'm so, so, so excited. So excited. So I will keep you up to date with the bathroom and we will be going on this photo shoot together. Honestly, I'm so excited, but I have quite a lot of things to do this morning as we're leaving at about half two. So I need to get everything that I need to get done today, done today, this morning. I did literally just wake up. It's probably why I'm not making loads of sense. Anyway, I'll see you a bit later. I literally just had a call from the plumber to say he's not coming today. I think he ordered a part that doesn't fit and he can't do any more work. B's just got home. He can't do any more work without the first bit of, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, can't do any more work without the bit that they needed. So, oh well. I'm gonna do a really cool transition from me now to me ready to go to the shoot. Shoot oh. day, shoot day, shoot day. You've been in the sun. Oh, is this what I'm wearing? Stay away from me. This, am I gonna be yellow? No, I'm gonna be yellow. You're not yellow. Oh my shoot. You've had one. Oh yeah. You've also got one on Friday. Oh yeah. I'll tell you about that in a bit. But yes, I'm gonna transform myself into ready yellow eye makeup, ethereal golden goddess. Right, see you in one second. Uh, how can I do it? How can I do it? I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> So, I don't know what he's saying. So, we have yellow kind of eye. I'm really not that good at makeup. It is not really my thing. But we have a yellow eye and just like the most highlighter I've ever put on my face. It is this Fenty Beauty Fairy Bomb. It's literally like gold dust. You need the tiniest bit on the tiniest brush and it's like glitter explosion. Well, not glitter, but highlight. Anyway. I might be wearing a wig or might have my hair down, but just for the drive, I've put it up out my way. If it needs to go into a wig, I've got lots of pins and stuff in my bag so I can squish it down. We are just about to get going. This is the makeup bag I'm using, that little glossy box one. Honestly, how helpful is that? You can see everything. So I think I will see you when I'm in Essex. I think B will probably help and do like all the like behind the scenes filming and stuff. So by the time it's up, the picture will also be up. So I will put a link to the picture in my description box so you can see what we made. Hopefully, well, not hopefully, I know it will be magical because Linda is just, all she makes is magic. She's literally not done anything that isn't incredible.
also no outro to the vlog <laughs> so i'm filming that now too i don't know how i managed that sometimes i might forget to outro it but very rarely do i forget to intro it and outro it so i just want to say thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this one that photo shoot was so so cool and the images they are they are just so beautiful and I don't know how she does it. I do not know how Linda does what she does. And also, how funny is this? Right, so we shot that a long time ago now. I still have the bites, look. You see that? Those have been there for a while. But yeah, anyway, I'm sorry for not introing or outroing the vlog. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one where I have an equally as exciting shoot. Like, I don't know why this happens. Like, all the exciting stuff seems to come at once, but it's amazing. Uh, anyway, I love you lots and I'll see you next time. Bye.